I'll give you a little update of the garden, show you some of the berries that are growing. Uh, so there's the wild types here, which are a little bit smaller, and then there's the more bigger varieties. Both tasty. Uh, different advantages to each, but I mostly want to show you the update on the garden bins. I mean the garden uh, barrels here. Let's see if I can get in focus. So I had originally uh, nine. There's four original ones left at the very back, and then there's 18 uh, added to those four. And I'll just show you how they're doing. You know, you're getting uh, a lot of square footage of planting surface. You're getting 22 square feet into four. Since so you're getting uh, plants, you know, right around the whole thing, which is nice. Uh, and then you're not having to bend over, less weeding, etc. This is the clay oya, which uh, is two terracotta pots, silicone together to create a watering vessel. Uh, how it works is that you fill this up with water, and then it weeps through the porous clay wall uh, without overwatering the soil. So it's just like a timerly slow uh, weeping sort of device that enables you to not water so often. Uh, because the pla because the barrels are coated in plastic on the sides, there's a lot less weeding to do. And the weeding you do do on top, uh, you don't need to bend over for. Uh, what this does also is prevents rabbits and like dogs and things from uh, digging into the garden. Rabbits can get the bottom level, but they can't really reach much higher than that. So you plant the things that they don't like on the bottom and uh, basically go from there. Uh, what else can I show you? Give you a quick tour through the, uh, the barrels area. So you can see they're all starting to green up, which is encouraging. There's 40 planting pockets on each, and you know between five and ten berries on top. Uh, so you're you know, you're looking at 45 to 50, approximately, uh, strawberries on each, and they're uh, this is an Albion variety or uh, ever uh, day neutral ever-bearing variety called Albion. Uh, I'll just bring you a little bit closer to the bins I planted you know, a few weeks back. And they're starting to fill up all the spaces. I'm hoping eventually you'll see nothing but strawberries all over them. Maybe I'll take you to the sunny side so you can see a bit better. Well, let's see if I can't uh, some shots of, like I said, this strawberry here forming up. Some starting up here. Lots of flowers, etc. <clears throat> but you can see, yeah, like this one's a lot further behind than this one. In a few weeks, it'll look much better, I hope. Anywho, thanks for uh, watching the old update and. Uh, my, oh, well, I guess I'll show you a little bit more, just because I'm here. This is the older generation garden bin. Uh, it's got poppy and dill, a nice green leaf lettuce here. Uh, this is an old parsley. This is a, an actual pear tree. I'm going to try to grow a pear tree in here from seed. Um, this is his radish, starting to form up down there. Another green leaf lettuce, more radishes, arugula, lamb's quarter in there. So that's all doing pretty well. Um, this is the garden bins. Uh, it has strawberries on the side. It's a big, a lot bigger container than the barrels. Harder to move, but uh, still works pretty good. Uh, I got a bit of asparagus popping up, rogue asparagus. But up top here is mostly cilantro, some lettuce. Let's see if I can't focus in on this uh, little ant doing something rather. So I don't ever fight any insects in the garden. I like all insects. They all have a role to play. Uh, if you get into the understory, like all this is done from seed, so there's a lot of like, a lot of random stuff. But there's lettuces and red leaf lettuces and dills and poppies. But the major overstory, or your major crop in here is cilantro. It's kind of going crazy. Uh, and then there's some lamb's quarters back there. That's this one here. It's an, an edible weed. I'm just going to keep going with this video since, uh, why not, eh? The raspberries are all coming on pretty good. There's loads of uh, pollinators swarming around. Uh, trying to get nice pollen for themselves. A whole bunch of different native bee varieties. Mason bees and carpenter bees and 
all kinds. I'll see if I can't get the carpenter be on film back there. Oh, that's, uh, maybe that's not a carpenter, maybe that's just a bumblebee. Anyway, there's loads of different types, which is nice. And uh, I got rhubarb all in the end of story. Which is uh, pretty small this year, but it's been getting picked and it's got oh, so many raspberries over top of it that it's, uh, I expect it not to do as well as last year. Uh, and then I got hascaps, which are these uh, purplish berries. They're nice. They're a little bit bitter. If you find them ripe, they can be nice. Got a pretty good one there. Uh, so this is my asparagus bin. It's all gone to uh, the flower. It's all starting to put its seeds on, which is okay. Mint down there. For some reason my blueberry is uh, suffering. I guess it didn't get enough water, but it's alive still, which is good. As I showed you, there's a bunch of strawberries on this bin. Uh, this is all blackberry, thornless blackberry bush. Oh, and all the pollinators are enjoying these blossoms. As you may see. Um, I'll show you the, uh, it's all green leaf lettuce, majority. It's, uh, I should have probably thinned it. It's kind of everywhere, but it's all self-sown. So I'll thin it as we eat it. A lot more strawberries. Strawberries, 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 pretty much entirely. Chives. Um, more, uh, what's it called? Cilantro. Um, some tomatoes. Oops, I meant to actually subdivide that group. Oh well. <laughs> and then there's a kale uh, plant. Wild grape. And then there's like some peas growing up. All sorts of things, which is good. Anywho, thanks for uh, watching the old update. I'll skip the greenhouse this time. Thanks for watching.